Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about a couple of new fragrance purchases that I made. These are probably my last fragrance purchases of 2022. I started this collection back in the fall time. So most of my fragrances are very fall, cold weather leaning fragrances. There is a hole in my collection of those fresh, more spring, summer appropriate fragrances. So I'll definitely do another one of these videos as we get into the warmer weather. But right now, this is solely more for cold winter type of weather. My first new fragrance to my collection is none other than Tom Ford Lost Cherry. I think some of you would have seen this coming because I've been talking so much about cherry and how I love cherry notes. And so it just seemed like a natural progression for me to end up with this lovely, lovely guy in my collection. This is a very cherry dominant scent. I know some people say it doesn't last. On me, I feel like it lasts all day. The notes we have in here is black cherry, cherry liqueur, and bitter almonds on the top. In the mid, we have Turkish rose and jasmine. And then our base notes are gonna be tonka, sandalwood, vetiver, and cedar. This is a unisex scent, but I enjoy wearing it as a woman. I think it's very, very sexy. And it's my favorite from Tom Ford. I love this one. I'm kind of looking at bringing in Soleil Blanc to my collection in the summertime. But right now, this is my one and only Tom Ford, and I absolutely love it. This is Tom Ford Lost Cherry. My next newest add to my collection, I actually got this at Sephora in a set. Sol de Janeiro number 62. This one smells so sweet, so girly. So feminine. This lasts on me all day as well, even though it's just a body mist. I like to pair it with the body lotion, so maybe that's why it lasts so much. This is the Sol de Janeiro 62 Bum Bum Cream Body Lotion. It's huge. It's probably gonna take me over a year to get through all of it, which is amazing. This is your pistachio with salted caramel body fragrance. It has pistachio, jasmine, caramel, vanilla, salt, and sandalwood. Uh, it smells like summer. It's not a very unique scent, I would say, but it is a crowd pleaser and I love it. I'm obsessed with this. This works in the winter time, but I, I can't wait to see how it performs in the summer because I definitely think this is a scent you can wear in that warmer weather as well. And I don't think it's something you really can overspray because it is a body mist, it's not a perfume. So I go a little ham when I spray it, but I love it. So this again is Sol de Janeiro. Brazilian Crush Chirosa 62. The last fragrance I purchased to round out my collection at the end of 2022 is none other than Delina by Parfume de Marly. Ooh, it's so talked about in the fragrance community, but I know I had to have at least one Delina in my collection because I absolutely love the scent. I got it in the smaller bottle just to kind of see how my skin chemistry plays with the scent. I really love this on me. I feel so like sexy and flirty and girly whenever I wear it. It's such a pretty girl type of fragrance and I love, 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 love that I have it now. Also the design of this bottle is absolutely stunning. So pretty. You have your top notes of lychee, rhubarb, bergamot, and nutmeg. Middle notes are Turkish rose, peony, musk, petalia, and vanilla. And then your base notes are cashmere, cedar, incense, and Haitian vetiver. This is the only rose scent I have in my collection. I think it's such a masterpiece. It's done to perfection. I wouldn't change a thing about it. It's absolutely stunning. And the rose in it makes it so incredibly feminine, sensual. I wear this on dates. It's such a good date fragrance. That was my last three fragrance purchases of the new year. I have two honorable mention fragrances that I'm currently testing out right now. I'm so close to buying a full bottle because I absolutely think they're incredibly amazing 10 out of 10 fragrances but i'm enjoying my testers right now before i make that final decision to purchase the bottle my first test fragrance i'm testing out that i'm absolutely in love with right now it's called pasta soir by bdk this is an absolutely stunning stunning fragrance i think it'll be so perfect year round. I'm wearing it and it's freezing outside and i still smell it and projects really well it's very easy grab and go type of fragrance. If you're not really trying to reach for your heavy hitters, like this is such an easy grab and go every day, running to get groceries or going on a date, just one and done type of fragrance. 
past the sword by BDK fits that bill. This fragrance has half notes of ginger, mandarin orange, and black pepper. Middle notes are quince, Moroccan jasmine, and orange blossom. And the base notes are cashmere, amberwood, and patchouli. It's the ginger for me. So light and refreshing. I think it's very unique. I haven't smelled anything else that smells like this. And that's what I'm kind of looking for fragrances. When I add to my collection, I want to make sure I'm not having any fragrance in my collection that are repeats or smell too similar to one another. Like I want each fragrance in my collection to be completely different from the one next to it. From the opening to the dry down, I think it's very soft, very lovely, very crowd pleasing type of fragrance. I wouldn't describe this as being polarizing at all. It smells so juicy. I would describe this as being sweet, woodsy, tart. This is an absolutely stunning, beautiful, easy to wear fragrance. Passe Soir by BDK. And the last fragrance that I am debating getting a full bottle of because it's so beautiful. I don't have anything like this in my collection. Oud Satin Mood by Maison Francis Kirk John. This is a heavy hitter of a fragrance. When I first tried this at the department store, I really, really liked it. And then I brought it home. I hadn't sprayed it in a while and then I just started spraying it last week and I thought it smelled straight up like dish soap and so I was repulsed by it. But the dry down, the dry down really won me back over. So I don't know if I really like it or if I just like it because of the hype. Right now, this is the one fragrance that I think is so unique and would be like such a unique fragrance in my collection, but it's so hard for me to get on board with Oud. My nose, it smells very soapy, but there's something in it that gets me that makes me want to smell it more. It's so bizarre. Like, I don't hate it, and the soapiness is kind of throwing me off, but there's something about it that just makes me want to smell it more and more. It has this addicting quality to it that I can't quite describe. So let me talk about the notes for a bit. Obviously, it has oud in it. It has Bulgarian rose, Turkish rose, there's a little bit of vanilla, benzoin, and violet. You definitely should not overspray this. I think it would be good mixed with other fragrances. Wearing it on its own, I think it might be a little bit too soapy. I personally would wear this with Kaali Vanilla 28 to sweeten it up a bit. Or even with Tom Ford Lost Cherry to bring out more vanilla notes. It's, it's addicting. It is. I would wear it more as a layering scent than an on its own scent. That is Oud Satin Mood by Maison Francis Kirk John. That is the last fragrance I've been playing around with in 2022. I hope you enjoyed and I can't wait to share more with you in the new year.